Good evening. A North Texas woman survived several hours in the water, stranded in Lake Ray Hubbard over the holiday weekend. Her will to live kept her alive. According to the rescuers who found her, Melissa Cutler joins us now with her amazing story of survival. Melissa. You know, Natalie and Steve, it's unknown exactly how far she had drifted from her original location. Much of the search took place between Chandler's Landing Marina and Party Cove, the last place that boat was anchored. Blackwood officials say was found not far from the same spot. What, but when you're lost in the middle of a lake, you might as well be a million miles away from land. 20-year-old Kirsten Blackwood is back on dry land, still recovering and sore after spending two to three terrifying hours in the cold, pitch black waters of Lake Ray Hubbard Friday night. Love you. She was out boating with friends and went overboard. She admits she was drinking, not wearing a life preserver. The music was blaring. They didn't hear me. She was left behind. I was just yelling for help. I was like, come back, come back. And as soon as I saw them like far off, I was just like, wow. <laughs> I was like, I'm on my own. She tried not to panic and swam against the current. Waves are um, just going up, pouring over my head. And I kept gargling water and spitting it out and coughing and was shortness of breath. And it was really cold in there. All I have was my swimsuit on. She tried to backstroke toward the lights of I-30, but she was too far away. A boat came by. She thought she was saved. I'm yelling. I'm waving my arms, treading water. I'm like, help me, help me. They pass me, and I'm just like, I just start crying, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. Then salvation, a helicopter. But it, too, went in the opposite direction. I just remember my stomach dropping. She thought this could be it. I started crying again, and I was just like, oh, my gosh. I was in prayer the whole entire time that I was in the water and just talking myself through it. Just don't give up, don't give up. At the same time, Dallas Fire Rescue sent out its boat, and someone on board heard a faint cry. We were very pleasantly surprised to find her still alive after that much time in the water. She was safe. The only marks, a cut on her chest near her heart, perhaps from stumps in the lake. I do think it's a miracle that I'm here. My body was so worn out, and I just kept fighting through and pushing through. And after the helicopter passed, and I didn't think I had any more hope, I probably would not have lasted about another hour or two. Now, Blackwood says she is not upset with her friends on the boat. In fact, she says she is glad they helped um, her by calling for officials and fire rescue. Um, so no hard feelings there. And she wants to share her story so that other boaters heed her warning to be careful around the water. Natalie and Steve. All right, you talked about being dark and, and really having, her having no clue. But do you, how far did they eventually figure out she was offshore? You know, the um, estimates vary at certain points. They said she could have been um, two miles away. At other points, they said it could have been more, oh. closer to 200 so yards. So they thought, think she was moving, drifting? Yeah, they mm -hmm. do. Um, but the good thing is, is that she didn't drift so far that they couldn't find her. Actually, she was somewhat close to where she originally went in, they think. Again, mm -hmm. all of this is very vague. So the fact that she stayed in one place helped them find her because they systematically cover the lake like a grid. So they know where they've been and they know where they're going. So the fact that she stayed in one place, place was actually very helpful. Just incredible. You hear that story. You put yourself in her shoes. Just terrifying. I don't know how she did right. it. Yeah. All right, Melissa Keller. Thank you. you